Hey everyone, my name is Jesse Williams with Racing on the Rocks. We used to be a podcast and we're a little less podcast these days and we've been actually playing a game here recently that I've gotten a ton of inquiries about in terms of how to get everything set up and all that kind of fun stuff. So something that I thought would be useful today would be for us to go through how to set up the game that we've been playing and modding here recently. That game is called Beam NG Drive. So this is currently only available for PC, so if you're looking for a mobile solution or something like that, it's just not there. Um, I also will preface this conversation with, um, it's a pretty intense game. So uh, if, if you don't have a, a beast of a computer, um, you're probably not gonna be able to run it really well, but there are other, are other ways and other options on how to run it. Now, first things first, to get the game, let me go ahead and just move myself down here so the easiest way to find the game is go to Google you can spell it however you want it'll come up it's just beam ng dot drive is how they have it on Google um, you're welcome to search it however you want so the first thing you'll see is on Steam Steam is the platform that we'll be using to download um, but what I would have first recommend is you go to the official beam ng drive website uh, you'll see this is a super cool website. It explains a little bit about how the game works in terms of the node system, the JBeam system, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, right here on the home screen, you'll see that there's two links. There's one link to the Humble Store and one link to Steam, like I said. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like I said, we're going to be purchasing it through Steam, but for now, uh, I'm just going to show you guys. A little bit about the game uh, in terms of what you'll need to get started there are some quick start tutorials on purchasing the game updating all that kind of fun stuff and then like beginner guide whenever you do get into the game but under documentation.beamng.com you'll also see system requirements under hardware so first thing if you have a Mac you cannot play the game whatever you know kind of is what it is 64-bit um, operative systems uh, those are that's normal if you have like Windows 10 you're probably fine um, okay here's kind of what gets <clears throat> a little hairy so this is for normal settings 1080p um, is this first section basically that's gonna be your high definition you know if you really want it to run good this is how you're gonna want to run the game but lowest at 720 and I'll show you guys actually we will launch the game here shortly and I'll show you guys high settings versus low settings um, low settings, Windows 7, that came out in like 2015, I think. Uh, an AMD 6300 chip Intel Core i3 processor, um, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, GPU, you know, pretty, pretty low of the spectrum tools here. DirectX, um, so this is a hardware, all this stuff right here, hardware. Um, op OS just means do you have Windows 7? You probably do, you probably have 8 or 10. Um, or maybe even 11. So DirectX is software, and then you just need 25 gigabytes of, oh, you guys can't see that. Um, you guys need 25 gigabytes of storage available on your computer. Now, these are minimum requirements. The game is not gonna look the best, it's not gonna be the best, it's not gonna you know, see what you see on YouTube and stuff like that if you're gonna run it at this solution. Take that with a grain of salt. So if we go back to the main page here just beam you know it says documentation.beamng we're just going to go back to beamng.com we're going to click on the home button here and at the home screen what I mean by that is uh, we're going to go to Steam so uh, Steam is another platform that you'll need to get so if I just do like Steam uh, Steam games I just Google that you'll see that uh, the second thing here obviously the first one's always going to be an ad the second thing in here is called Games on Steam. So essentially what this is, is this is a platform to actually go and buy games. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, if you're not super techie, this is the interme intermediary. This is the game store that you used to walk in. This is GameStop and it has every game on it and you basically buy through GameStop, in this case, Steam, and it will uh, give you the downloads there and you'll actually open Steam to, to do all your game updates and things like that. So uh, easiest thing to do, just go up here to this top button up here and click install Steam. Now, because I already have it, don't have to go through these steps. Um, Steam offers a lot of discounts. They also offer 
a ton of free games as well. So it's something to think about if you're uh, looking to buy. Don't I wouldn't use the Humble Store. It's not. I've never even heard of it. So uh, if I click buy Beam NG through the Steam Store, the first thing that you'll see is it'll take you straight to the Beam page. Um, there's actually a, it's funny a recent price increase. Um, it's a, occasionally they'll run a special on it, but for 25 bucks you're getting something really really crazy here. Um, you know they have little videos here of everything that's going on. Obviously this is uh, displaying some of their. Uh, off-road stuff that they've got going on but you can check our YouTube channel for all the off-road stuff that you could ever want um, what you'll need to do is you'll just need to add to cart pay for it all that kind of fun stuff now after you install steam uh, you'll get this really great thing here called steam you'll have this nice steam logo right here so you'll open this up and you see I only have a couple games actually set up on my computer but one thing that you'll see here is, in, I believe it'll be an uninstalled, you'll have Beam NG Drive after you pay for it. And you're just gonna go through, instead of this green play button right here, you're going to have uh, install, perfect. So this is American Truck Simulator, don't have it installed. It'll look like this, you just click install. It does everything else for you, it does really cool stuff like tracks all the screenshots that you take in the game. You'll have a list of updates down here, um, trading cards, achievements, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. You'll be able to see your friends who play. But this is where you'll come. You'll actually download it through Steam. And you'll have the option when you finish downloading to have a desktop icon like I do right here. So my Beam NG desktop icon. Or you'll have the option to um, launch through Steam. So I always like using the desktop stuff. Now, uh, have had some people reach out. You can play on your keyboard. Like actually using keyboard controls like that right there you can play on that with the game. Uh, I played on a laptop for a while and uh, I actually used the keyboard there. Uh, it's not the best, I'll tell you that. I went out and I bought the uh, steering wheel and I do have pedals uh, as well. So this steering wheel is one of the more budget friendly options for getting something that works on your PC. Obviously you still have to have a mouse, still have to have a PC, monitors, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I actually really like this because if you see, it's got auto correction, I've got some buttons on the front, and I've actually got shifter paddles as well. Now I did pull this up here for you guys to have a look at. So this is the steering wheel that I bought, H-O-R-I uh, Racing Wheel Apex for PlayStation and PC. Um, it's about a hundred bucks. I mean, you know, kinda is what it is. It's a hundred bucks. You'll get pedals with it, you'll get the steering wheel with it. Comes in a really nice box. Um, there's some calibration instructions and stuff like that. Uh, all, all, you know, good stuff. This is a very mid tier, if, if low, you know, at, at best mid. It's a low, low end mid, very budget friendly. So that being said, um, this is what I've used. Used it for about a year now. Uh, it's been great. So all that's good. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, Beam NG, the actual game itself, on high settings and low settings, so you can kind of have an idea of what to expect. Um, all of those hardware requirements, if you don't know what your system is running, um, you can Google, I would recommend. I'm not gonna show you my current setup uh, because I don't know if any um, personal, like sensitive information will come out or anything like that. So I don't really want to um, open that up on camera. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys uh, something that is, you know, I guess visually pleasing. So we'll go to East Coast. Uh, they recently redid all of these maps. So it's been really cool to see all of the new materials and terrains and textures and things like that that they've added into the game with this latest update. Uh, it's been really, really great if your computer can run it at the high standard. If it can't run it at the high standard, you're gonna see things a lot less pretty, but you'll still be able to play the game. The point of this game is, you know, it's a physics simulator. It's about the experience of actually driving. It's not really about the vegetation and, you know, about the trees and all this and that. Now, does that add something to the game? Certainly. But is it a deal breaker? No. When I played on my laptop, when I discovered this game last Christmas, um, I played on the lowest settings because I was playing on a really less than fun computer and it is what it is you know I had an absolute blast playing it and it's what started me 
making content about it and all that kind of fun stuff. I know that uh, I sat on the couch for most of actual Christmas day and just played the game. So uh, everything looks like it's loading here. Uh, give it just a second because even with a, so I've got a, I've got a, got a pretty good computer. I'll say it like that. Even with a pretty good computer, um, it takes a little bit of time to get everything rendered. Uh, I know that in the last update they actually did some things to increase or decrease rendering time. So I have all of my stuff turned up, um, if I'm not mistaken, to Ultra. Now I'll let you have a first look, kind of look around, you know, you can see on the truck there's nice reflections, on the ground there's uh, lots of flowers, things like that. In the distance, you know, things are kind of blurred out a little bit and as you get closer they seem to render themselves a little bit better. Um, and obviously, you know, you got streets and I'm actually going to put, put me in the creek here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Of course, I, you know, happen to run into a tree. You know, you got good splashes. The wreck looks, you know, it looks really good when you get right up on it. All that kind of fun stuff. Everything looks pretty good. So let me triple check my settings to show you what you can expect from your system. The hotkey to get to the menu is escape. Um, there's a new key binding system. So you go up here to options, you go to, uh, obviously by default it is in graphics. So anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, light rays, bloom, depth of field, you can disable all of these and that will lighten up the load on your graphics card. Now you'll see that all those are automatically applied. Um, I'm actually gonna drive up here so you guys can see the difference. Um, which is not, not a lot in the distance there. So everything looks pretty much the same. Where you're really going to see some performance decreases in this, if you're running a lower end computer, is in the quality here. Now, I'm gonna return everything up to ultra. Okay, nothing changed, so I am running it on ultra right now. I am gonna change it to uh, lowest, so you guys can see the most dramatic difference possible. Now obviously my game actually froze here a little bit, when you're, when you're changing some of these values, be fully ready for this stuff to, you know, kind of lock up on you just a little bit. Um, now, obviously, everything's re-rendering. You can tell pretty much right out of the gate. Um, things don't look as good, but they're definitely not the worst. Uh, one thing that you'll see, actually, this is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, one thing that you'll notice is the game is running really smooth, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, vegetation's gone, but a lot of the graphics for the actual vehicle themselves, the vehicles still look really, really nice. But the ground is, uh, you know, way less. There's no grass or anything like that. But, um, you know, everything's a little bit more blocky. The water doesn't look as good. Again, this is this is the lowest possible setting, so uh, this is as bad as it gets. But if you had a computer that was not good, <laughs> you know, for a lack of better terms, this is a way to get you playing the game where you can still come out and enjoy it and have a good time. Okay, so uh, so this is lowest. I'm gonna take us up to um, low, and you guys can keep an eye on you know, uh, this side of the screen right here, right there, keep an eye on that side of the screen, and you can see these rendering changes as they kind of reload everything. So just going from lowest to low, uh, there's a huge difference. If you if you cannot already tell, um, big, 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 big difference. So I'm gonna let this all render out. We have vegetation back, we have you know, the car's still loading in, but we have depth of field. I mean, we went from, you know, 1981 Pong to something that's actually not, it's not terrible. Yeah, you know, you could, you could play this and, and feel like you're in the game and um, kind of get the vibe of what, it, what, you know, everything that's going on. You, you, this isn't too bad. So I'm actually pretty surprised that this is considered the lowest, or excuse me, low. So let's go ahead and take it up to normal. Now again, just takes a little bit of time, and I'm telling you guys, I'm running a pretty, pretty beast of a, a computer here, so it's not just you know your computer that may or may not be bad or good or what have you. Now again, we see that 
um, the ground got a little more pleasant to look at. We've got shadows now. The vegetation looks a little better. The trees have a little bit more depth to them. Um, not a ton, but a little bit more depth to them. And you can see also uh, that the water has started to move. So we're actually starting to see water moving, things like that. So this is normal. Um, this is, again, just what you should expect for normal. Uh, I'll show you high. I don't. There's, there's not a ton of difference between high and ultra. And I think that's because Ultra is still in like a beta form right now. Um, I think in the actual graphics menu, they consider it to be experimental. So um, I think Ultra is the only one that uses some of the updated textures, things like that. Um, I'll say this. So from normal to high, I, I, don't, I don't notice that big of a difference. Um, I could be missing it. You know, vegetation looks a little cleaner, but I would say that normal and high are pretty close together. Now, when I jump this bad boy up to ultra, uh, you'll notice there there is, a, in my opinion, there's there's quite a big difference. And now again, experimental, take it with a grain of salt, but uh, instantly the shadows are more robust. Um, you know, it's it's doing a lot more shading on the actual truck itself here. You know, water's moving down there now, so it looks pretty good. You know, we can we can kind of cruise down here, and you can see that. Uh, you know, just, it's not perfect, but it's definitely pretty good. Our depth of field is pretty high. We can go over here to the river. We can hear the river, see everything. Things are starting to render a little further away, so um, definitely something to think about. Okay, here are some cheater strategies to make your game run faster and run on a higher setting. So if your computer runs on lowest or low and you want it to run faster, some of the best things that you can do are reduce the actual distance. Now, what this is, this is just literally uh, reflection distance. This is just something that's kind of out there. You can take care of detail. Um, you can drop update rate down a little bit, but this one's going to be really, this one, you'll notice this one pretty good. Um, but one thing you can do that is a huge performance saver is grass density. So if you notice, out here in the fields there's no more like loose vegetation and if I take this grass density about halfway up about 55 you'll see I'm starting to get you know full and out filling out the grass and all that kind of fun stuff and then if I take it to one um, you know we start to see flowers and grass and the grass is really moving around quite a bit so um, that's something that if I was run, looking for like a an easier way to run the game I would probably turn grass density down tire marks down um, You know play with it. That's really what it comes down to But all that being said if you have a limited computer if you're getting errors during the game You know if you're getting booted off during the game. This is definitely something to check out um, That's pretty much it guys uh, make sure you guys are following the channel Give us a subscribe a like all that kind of fun stuff it goes a lot further than you think and uh, it always it always helps us out. So thanks. Bye, everybody.